Matata Supreme, 5 to 1. Punches of Easy, 2 to 5. Here we are now, that one, right there. Welcome folks, joining me is Wexford football star Redmond Barry. Redmond, how do you feel before the big race this evening? Oh, I'm all set now John, yeah, I've a good school in there down in Gainstown, stood for the last few weeks, so I've yeah. learned a uh -huh. lot down there, and uh, yeah, I think all systems go now. How many points of Guinness have you had Redmond before the race today? I'm staying on the half ones, I need to keep the weight down, so if I can water for me John. That's all for now, we'll have another word with Redmond before the race. Get the money down, folks. Raymond Barry for the win. Six to four to field. Oh, yes. Joining us is treasurer of St. Dan's Football and Hurling Club, Alan, of course, full brother to Redmond. Alan Nabber, what have you got to say to your brother today before the big race? All the winnings will be donated to the GA. Oh. <laughs> to the new developer. St. Dan's through and through. Come on, the boys in blue. Come oh. on, the red. <laughs> Welcome to Punchestown. Let's talk to some of the people here today. Pull in a, a random punter here. Hello, sir. Where are you from, and uh, what does Punchestown mean to you? Mount Eaton, Ballycogley, County Wexford. Punchestown is a great festival. You know, it's the end of the year. Good horses, you know, and we're just glad to be here and glad to see Red Barry win the final race on the final day. And what uh, what brings you here on uh, Family Day? Does that make you want to start the family here today? Uh, not necessarily, no. Um, it just so happened that uh, it was the only day I was free and it's the only day I could get here. But um, sure, look, God knows what could happen tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you for speaking to us. Joining me is Wexford football star PJ Banfield. Hales from Camp Pyle. PJ, what awards have we got for Redmond Barry today before his race? Look, I just like to wish Red the best of luck. We're all up here supporting him. As I always said to him, he never shit himself against the dub, so hopefully he won't shit himself today. So we all have good faith in Red and all the best. Best of luck today, Red. Back to you in studio. Thank you. Are we here from Nard? Jody, what are your thoughts on the bumper here this evening? Jody, over to you. Hey, Caroline's a fucking certainty. Sorry, repeat that? It's says a fucking certainty. I think Red Barry is a certainty. Let her go, Red. Give him his head. <laughs> from Kerry is the kingdom. Brian, what are your thoughts on the bumper today? And what advice can you give Redmond for his, to help him during the race? I hear this big word from uh, the, word, the word is around. Sir, sir, security. The word is around Gordon, he's got a chance, you know, and um, I'd say do the jig, do the jig sound out the gate and the outside there. And jiggity, jiggity, jig, it sound jiggity up all the way. <laughs> Thanks very much, Brian, for talking to us. Wish you well. Joining us this evening, Mark Fitch Fish Enright uh, from Limerick. We're asking Mark, what are his thoughts on riding in the bumper? What are the best way to approach it? Mark. Jesus, I don't know. I'd say maybe get out in front, get away from the trouble, let him rock along. If he'll stay, then he'll win. And if sure, if he's able to hit him a slap, he's any place hurling. So if he's able to swing a hurling, he's surely able to swing, swing the stick. So if he can hit him, he'll win. And and what can Redmond use? Redmond, of course, a county footballer, played many years with Wexford and St Anne's. How will this benefit Redmond <laughs> during the race? Jesus, I don't know. Playing football from, with, with Wexford will it benefit anyone? Does it? I, I, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe if he was a Limerick footballer or Limerick hurler, you know, he, he might have some chance. But you know, Wexford footballer, I'm not so sure to be honest. He's riding Mr. Steadfast, trained by goal Cup winning trainer Gordon Elliott. Have you heard of Mr. Steadfast, Mark? I have heard of Mr. Steadfast. Yeah, I went around a couple of races alongside him. I'm sure looking. I'm sure Gordon Elliott will have him right. So he might have a few pound up his sleeve as well. That's right. That's right. That's right. Rumour is it, Mr. Steadfast is not even shitting right, but <laughs> we'll know in one hour, folks. Get the, get the money down. Mark, thanks for talking to us. Back to you in the studio. Over and out. <laughs> Excited uh, for Redmond uh, this, uh, this evening. The early money is down. My money is down. Where is your money going to be, folks? Redmond Barry, 20 to 1. Get on! Welcome to Punchestown this afternoon, where we're joined by... D and Russell from Cork and he's just about to weigh in. 
a friend of ours, uh, Redmond Barry, is riding in his charity race. David, what advice have you got for for Redmond going forward this afternoon? Uh, Should I know he's married? He's married to um, your cousin, and Big nose, Jamie. All, all I can tell you is um, that his sex life will improve once he gets a license, and uh, I hope the, the missus is, is, is up for all the action she's going to get from now on. David, the rumour is that you jockeys have a good shite before the race. What? What are your thoughts on having a good shite before the race? Well, I, I definitely wouldn't leave half half a one inside anyway, just in case he gives a stumble or anything. And <laughs> he destroyed the britches, you know That's what I mean? <laughs> That's right. Back to you in studio, folks. T- David, thanks for talking to us and best of luck. No problem. Send down the checks. Send down the checks. No, no, no. Uh, good evening, folks. Joining us today is uh, John Milan. I love my county. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. We're all again. One, two. Ken Milan. Oh, Ken, Ken Whelan joins us today. <laughs> Uh, ahead of the bumper this evening in Punchestown. Uh, Redmond is an amateur, currently an amateur riding out in Gainstown, stood in Wexford. I just want to wish to ask on behalf of the folks at home, would Ken be interested in taking Redmond on as a professional going forward? Ken, what are your views? First of all, I want to clear the point that you Wexford lad never got close enough to John Milan to hear him say, oh! I, want, I love what? my county, because he was always gone on you. And secondly, I had a little word inside with Redmond. <laughs> Barry Gerrard, he's been chasing me there for a few weeks to take him on. And okay, I said, Barry, okay, okay. I've, I've only one spot left. Okay, okay, okay. And it'll have to be Redmond. Redmond, Barry. It'll have to be. I, I, like, Barry Gerrard, he's there, and look, he's, he's fucking gone past his cell yeah, by yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Redmond's a good young lad. Shoo, shoo, on the shoo, up. Shoo, shoo. I like the stairs, and he's on the up the stairs. You heard it here, folks, on Foggy's Bits. Ken Whelan, Red Barry, next year 2017 champion jockey. Thank you, folks. Hold on. Good evening folks, welcome to Punchestown, joining us today is a gentleman winning jockey Michael Bowley, Hurls and St. Anne's. Michael, what are your thoughts on today's race and what can you say to Redmond going forward? Well, as I said to him, Red, no, you want to go down to the start like me, as slow as you can, and come back as hard as you can. <laughs> That's right, let her go. We spoke to Ken Reed, Ken is interested in taking on Redmond as a professional going forward. Do you see Redmond as a threat to your profession? Well, I do, because anything he put his hand to, he's not too bad. But I, yeah, I am worried he will have a battle with the scale. If it comes down to it, whose nose will finish in front, Mikey? Mine, yours, or Redmond? Well, you have the biggest honker, but uh, I'd say with my riding ability, I'd finish in front. Thanks very much. This evening, we're joined by Gold Cup winning trainer Gordon Elliott. Gordon, of course, is training Mr. Stead Fast, ridden by Mr. Red Fast. Gordon! What instructions will you be giving Redmond this evening? I told him just take his time ground mid division, but uh, uh-huh. he's been up right now a couple of days and he's not great at listening to this. I bit. believe he rides out with Johnny Fogarty in Wexford yeah. as well. He yeah. goes up to small trainers and mead as well. I'd say that must be the problem. He's not do, doesn't do what he's told much at home, but hopefully we, we, we've sat him down and had a good chat with him today. And listen, today there's a chance if he fucks up, he's gone. He's gone, he's yeah. finished. Yeah. Well, if he's finished with Gordon, he's finished with Fogey. Back to you in studio. Gordon, thanks for speaking with us. Cheers. <laughs> First, second, or third, or last? First. 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 Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Best of luck, Red. No, I'm not listening up. Very best of luck, Red. Good luck, Red. Good luck. Yep. Good luck, Manny. The summer's in uh, Huntsdown. Sorry, sir. I just ask you to wish Red and Barry good luck today. Say good luck, Red. Good luck, Red. Yes. Good luck, Red. Good luck, Red. Good luck, Red. Good luck, Good luck, Red. Good luck, Good luck, Good luck, Red. 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 Good luck, 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 Good luck,